welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video and as y'all can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail we have some new ish makeup old makeup yeah i'm shopping my stash i can't even say that i'm trying to cut back because i just bought some makeup that was uh kind of expensive even though it was out for over a year but we're gonna talk about that in a few minutes but yeah like i was saying definitely su subscribe if you have not um if this is your first time seeing me of course i would love to have you on my channel a part of my yt family i have a lot of makeup coming y'all tutorials reviews all that you name it I'm so anyway let's just jump into what i will be reviewing like i was saying y'all um i did do a little bit of shopping and this is a recent person purchase so it's not even like i'm really shopping my own stash with this because i paid for this like last week and i just got it and this is from milk cosmetics i'm pretty sure y'all have probably seen this one out this one has been out over a year i have been wanting this one for so long y'all this is the 420 milk cosmetics palette the packaging is super cute so anyway um yeah this is what that color story is looking like this is so pretty y'all i cannot wait to get my hands on this the color story is everything my type of colors i don't even know exactly what i'm gonna be doing but hopefully it comes out really good and of course like i was saying before um i have some new ish products that i only use maybe one time and that would be the huda beauty foundation and what well, is the skin tint and this right here so i'm gonna give it a second try i did like it the first time i tried it and of course we got pat mcgrath the new blushes that been out for a little while not too long at all i will be testing this one out again the sky high mascara i'll be using that too i'm giving it a second try also so if you're interested in anything that i have going on over here and maybe see how i got the look that i came up with definitely continue on watching okay y'all so now that i'm up close and personal i want to go ahead and pull this wig back um i am doing a review on this one just in case you're interested i don't even know how i feel about it but i know she's real pretty right now but yeah if you want the tea on this one subscribe to my other channel phoebe rome that's why i do all of my hair reviews and other stuff too perfume clothing hauls you name it it's going to be on the other channel but anyway but anyway i already got my brows in as y'all can see i am going to be using this right here this is the um makeup revolution cut crease canvas and fair and of course the um priming log So anyway, y'all, I'm looking at this palette. It's so pretty. I don't even know what I want to dip into first. This one is really calling my name. I love orange colors, y'all. But then it's like, should I go in with the dark color right here? I don't know. But I'm going to probably end up using both of them. So I'm going to go in here first. This one is called Full Melt. So I think I'm going to start off with Full Melt. And the brush I'm going to use, I'm going to use small brushes this time, y'all. Um, I don't even know the name of this brush, but this is what it's looking like. I'm going to put the name of it on the screen. Okay, so I'm going to start off on the outer corners with that color. Yeah, I hadn't watched any videos on this palette until last night. And I realized that the views or the reviews on this one aren't that great. I watched, um, I don't know if you ever heard of Pop Lux channel. I love watching him. He's so funny. He cracks up so many. He cracks me up. Very, uh um i guess you can say adult jokes <laughs> but i love it and um he don't think it's worth the 58 dollars yes i said 58 dollars y'all what is wrong with me i'm tripping but um i don't think he thinks it was worth the 58 dollars and he did say because i didn't look at anything else after that that most of the reviews on the website or i guess whatever website he was looking at it's like a three point whatever not terrible but kind of average i guess but for 58 dollars we want at least a 4.8 <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna try to stick with my own opinion and not let anybody else sway me on whether i like this palette or not okay y'all so back into that palette obviously y'all can see i was playing around a little bit off camera and i am liking what i am seeing so um, I did go back in with this one right here. This one is called Blunt. Just a little bit lighter than that orange color that I just put on. Well, burnt orange color. So, um, yeah, I took this small brush right here from Morphe. This is the M506 brush. And I just went up a little higher and 
blend out that color a little bit more. Also, while watching Pop Lux's video, he was saying that um, we got a lot of fallout. We do have a lot of fallout in this palette, y'all, but um, I'm trying to go in light because this is a expensive palette. <laughs> So, I'm trying to save all my little crumbs of makeup. Even trying to catch the ones that's off on the side of the palette, y'all. Trying to save it. I don't want to hit pan right now. Not even no time soon. Usually, I celebrate when I hit pan. With my makeup that's expensive, y'all, I try to preserve it. And I did go over just a little bit right here. Not all the way. The names on here, y'all, are so good. Roll it, roll it, roll it. This is the one I'm about to use. We just used blunt now. We are going to roll it. <laughs> Still using a different Morphe brush to apply that color right here. On top of Full Melt. And you will see me go back and forth with all of those colors. Full Melt. and blunt. I think I wanna go in with this color right here. This one is called Hash. And this one right here, Hash on the end. And I think I just wanna put it mostly all over the lid. And I am gonna go in with this brush right here. This is a blending brush from Marfa. This is the R35 brush. Yeah, so back into the palette, I'm gonna go back in with that first color, Full Melt, and put it right here next to that dark shade. I've been doing a lot of color this week, lately, period. And I can't believe this one right here. All these pretty colors, and this is what I'm creating. <laughs> I'm tripping. I'm gonna have to, I don't even know. You know what? Maybe I should try to use a, um, the yellow color for an inner corner highlight. We're gonna see how that looks. Cause I don't know, I'm just out of my element, y'all. Even though I do like my neutral eye looks, but the way that palette is set up, y'all, I should have been creating something popping, like loud yellow green. And of course I have to blend that in. So as y'all can see, I did go in and put a little bit of yellow in the inner corner highlight. I'm not, overjoyed about this look but you know what we can't win them all <laughs> this one is just regular average i guess maybe once i put the um the lashes and wing liner on it'll pop a little bit more but i'm bored right now but anyway let me show y'all what i did this right here of course this one is called wax the to me the prettiest color in here and i don't think she's popping like she is in the pan on my eyes so it's like a little disappointed in that color. Maybe I will, I'm gonna try putting it on the lid next time I do a video on it or whenever I use it and see what happens. But so far I'm a little disappointed in the color payoff on this one. But um, yeah, I just took this brush right here, this brush, okay. Yeah, this one right here, this is from Yana's Eyes. And I just um, took a little bit and dabbed it right here in the inner corner. You know what, let me put a little bit of my um, Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Primer on here. Maybe it'll pop just a little bit more. Okay y'all, so this is what I'm looking like so far. I'm gonna go off camera real quick and put my lashes and wing liner on and I'll be right back.
y'all so this is what i am looking like and yeah very natural looking i look today with a touch of yellow which i do kind of like but anyway i think i'm just gonna um put a little bit of full metal on full metal on and a little bit of this one right here what's this one called roll up at the outer corner And now roll up on the outer corners. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera, put me some black eyeliner in my waterline and some mascara. Be right back. Okay, y'all, so I thought this would be perfect with the look that I created today. And this is from Fenty the Lip Cream. And this one is in color Cookie Jar. So this is the end of my video and this is the look. I think it came out really pretty y'all. Lately I guess I have been doing a lot of color and it's like, it's a little blah. But <laughs> sometimes we just have to tone it down, at least in my opinion. Sometimes I just want to tone it down. I guess this is one of those days but um, I have to go back and play with those other colors y'all. The main reason why I got this palette was because of the beautiful colors. Of course, this was one of my favorite colors. It's, it worked out really good. I really wanted to use more of this one. And I will in my next video. And of course, this green, this lime green right here would definitely be used. So I will be back in this palette. So far, I do think the palette is pretty good. No lie, I kind of felt like this yellow, even though I only used a little bit in the inner corner high, for my inner corner highlight. To me, it seems like it was a little blotchy, but I already know sometimes it is really hard, not sometimes, but it's hard to make yellow from what I'm hearing. I'm not, you know, in that field where I make makeup, but that's what I hear a lot about yellow eyeshadow, but I can't really say yet. So my next video, I will be testing it out a little bit more to see how that yellow performs on the whole eyelid. So, so far so good, I like it. I don't know if it's worth $58 because I could have created this look with another palette, but I'll let y'all know in my next upcoming video if it's worth $58. And of course, as for the other products, I am a big fan of this skin tint right here, y'all. This is really, really good. I was able to match my perfect shade in my opinion. I really, really like it. And of course, I like this too. And Pat McGrath, of course. I mean, really, why not? Who doesn't like Pat McGrath? I'm pretty sure some people do, but I'm not one of those people. So yes, I'm loving all the products. So this is the end of my video. Let me know what y'all think about the look. Let me know if y'all have this palette or any of the other products that I tried in this video. Let's have a conversation and I will talk to y'all in my next video.